Are you lucky enough to get a little winter break? Doesn't that look fun? Maybe you and the family have vacation plans that involve something like that. You're looking live right there at Arapahoe Basin that's in Colorado. Nothing ruins a moment like this or a trip faster than an injury. So Dr. Edgar is an orthopedic surgeon. He is here from Yukon Health Center to help us out this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. So let's start because we were looking at that mountain. Yeah. It's so much fun, right? You have a great day on the slopes, but things can go wrong fast. What do you need to do to stay safe if you're a snowboarder, a skier, whichever? I think no matter who you are, I think uh, having a helmet is uh, very important because that protects us from really significant head trauma. Yep. Uh, also staying within your boundaries, knowing your limits as a skier or a snowboarder. And uh, for our kids in particular, I think lessons can be very important as they're you know, increasing their abilities and stretching their boundaries on the ski slopes. Uh, the designated ski slopes are, uh, um, are sort of there for a reason, to set limits for the, for the skiers. So I think uh, staying within those limits is also important. Right, there's no shame at not being Lindsey Vaughn the first time you're out there. You know? Absolutely. Oh, I mean, my goodness. Um, you, and you know, one thing I think you said stretching, uh, literally stretching. I mean, warming up, and I think that's the first thing we blow off. Oh, I don't have time. I, I'm just going to hit the slopes. What does a warm up do? It actually does a lot, doesn't it? It does a lot. Staying limber and warming up is very critical. It stretches the muscle and kind of keeps the system warm so that way when you do have a fall, you're at uh, less risk for a significant injury. And playing off the word warm, layers. Dress for it. Oh, my goodness. I could, couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> layers are so important. We have a lot of technology these days, but l dressing in layers is so important. Uh, and covering your skin. I think don't, people don't appreciate the amount of frostbite that can happen just with going down the mountain or being on the chairlifts. And, and you know, yes, we've never had better clothing suited for this. Back, you know, in the day, you know, we had all these bulky layers you could barely right. move. It's not that way anymore. You can no. dress very warmly and still feel like you have movement. Uh, let's talk about the not so fun stuff because that also comes this time of year. Yep. Shoveling. Shoveling. And it's a problem for some. What, what do we need to know about this? Well, I think shoveling, in, especially in New England, there's a lot of wet, heavy snow. So there are more ergonomic uh, shoveling devices, but more importantly, trying to do it in short segments, uh, using your legs instead of just your lower back. Mm -hmm. uh, all of those are very important uh, techniques to try to uh, optimize uh, the snow shoveling without risking injury to your low back or your shoulders. And this time of year, sadly, we do have to report in the news department about people um, having heart attacks, uh, sometimes even fatal results, just because they've pushed themselves too far. Absolutely. So again, it's sort of like with the, snow, the snowboarding and the skiing, Know your limits? Know your limits. Overexertion is so common these days. The cold air, people don't realize that it sets themselves up for something like that could be that could be catastrophic. Okay, in our last few seconds, you have a mission this winter. <laughs> Please share your mission and spare people's digits. I, I totally agree. <laughs> I thank you for bringing this up. So snowblowers, I think, and it's the first time snowblower users that don't really understand that uh, even though the, when the snowblower gets caught, there's still potential energy. So even though they turn off the machine, take out the spark plugs, it doesn't matter. That's potential injury that can release. So by putting in your fingers to release that snow, it could easily release, take off your digits. It's happened so many times. You have literally seen this happen. Uh, numerous accounts. He's here to save your fingers. <laughs> Please listen to Dr. Edgar. All right, thank you so much. Hopefully we just prevented that issue from I happening. I hope so. That'd, That'd be, be a great, great mission. Okay, thanks so much. <laughs> thanks. And be